Yes, yes. Play the music now, man. Walk to your chat. Will you come my special request in a popular demand? Musical sounds designed to make you rock and move as I would be. Maybe girl, I got to come and down as I would really tell you. I want you to play the music again because I, I want to do the Theresa May dance. Well, I, <laughs> when I saw that, man, I said to myself, it, it, it took me back. It took me back to the days of Top of the Pops. When black people used to watch Top of the Pops because it was the funniest show upon the television. I don't know, the woman was in danger of breaking her bones. It was ridiculous. How you all doing? Three people answer. Winter is here, man. It's hard to get black people out of their house when winter coming up. I remember one winter when it, 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 it was frost and, and ice overnight. And you know, black people, we like to walk cool. You know, we like to be cool. Uh, some of you have seen me do this before, you know, me a Jamaica. And in Jamaica, we have, a, we have a walk. It's called the sun shared walk. Yeah, and it's the black man. It's the black man are walking at the sun. I saw them walking at the sun. This is pure mathematics. The head is at an angle to shear the sun. And we're cool, man. We, we like to just move cool. Have you ever seen black people uh, uh, crossing a main road? And we don't like running them. Bus, truck, car, come. Black people don't know how to run. Even the sisters, you see them? I look on the car like they look, I gotta stop the car. Slow down, no? Like to be cool, man. But tonight, brothers and sisters, is a really, really special night. And I'm really, really happy to see the turnout. And before we go any further, I want you all to put your hands together, at least just to warm yourself up. Put your hands together for yourselves, for being here for Felix Dexter. Make some noise for our brother. I, 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 worked, I worked with that brother for, for many years. And, you know, I know as black people, some of us, we think so we are going to go somewhere else when we're gone, when we're dead. Sorry to disappoint you. We're not believing I know Doppy. But the way in which we live beyond today, the way in which we live beyond this existence is by making an impact while we live. And Brother Felix made an impact. And that's why so many years on, we still are taught about him. And we're still building the foundation and we're still doing benefits like this, fundraisers, to keep his legacy alive. Give it up for Brother Felix, please. So, how, how you all doing? I'm good, man. I feel good, you know. This morning, as I wake up, I just leap out of the bed, naked, standing proud in front of my mirror. No, I was standing proud, nothing else. People, man, they got, you know. But I don't get it. I, I, see, as a black man, me love being black. Any, anybody in here love being black? Yeah, yeah rubbish. <laughs> Pure liar, I tell. You'd be surprised how many of our people still got a problem with them black self. You see, when me looking at the mirror, me love this. You see this complexion? Me love this. You see these lips? Me love this. Do, do you know why we have lips like this? You see, when you eat fruit, you don't lose nothing. <laughs> it's crazy, man. You know, the other day there was this big Ferrari that broke out when Serena Williams, you remember when Serena get vexed? And then after that, somebody do a cartoon. 
and worn it for black people, vexed. They were upset, man. Me never upset, you know. I wasn't upset. Because when I see Serena, I'm looking at a powerful, beautiful black woman. Yes! When, when, when I saw the cartoon of a monkey or an ape, me never met no relationship between the two of them. I never saw no resemblance. But some of us, it's like we see resemblance. That's the only way somebody can hurt you, you know. If you believe that you have some relationship with that thing then. You know, say that if you take a monkey for real and you shave him down, the skin white. <laughs> Nothing to do with black people. You ever take a good look on a monkey back? Monkey don't have no contour in at the bottom. Flat as a board. Next time you get an opportunity, look on monkey lips properly. Thin. So I don't know why we, we, we get upset. Nothing to do with us, man. Serena is beautiful, man. Love that sister. And I, I was upset because she was upset. Because I know it wasn't just about no tennis match. That, that's years and years of frustration, man. Serena is trying to get accepted to the point where she she get herself a little white guy. So in Serena's mind, she said, "I've done everything, and you're still at this me." Crazy man. Um, how, how do I look? Me look good? You sure? Smell good as well, you know. You want me to come down? You want you want a sniff? Because you got to, not only must you look good, but you must, it must be for real. Because you know some people will put on clothes and think no hell. Dirty and nasty. One of the ways that you can tell is when, when you wear like a white shirt, when you take off the shirt afterwards, and all inside the cuff black. All the shirt color black. That's not good. And by the way, you know when you go and you have a bath as a black person, and you get that black ring don't pretend you don't get it. He's not the only one. And some of us, we, we, oh God, it looks so nasty. No, it's not, it's not just dirt. It's skin cells. Skin cells. At least that's what you must tell your children. <laughs> it's just some skin cells. It's wonderful, man. It's wonderful. I haven't, I haven't been on stage for a little while. I've been chilling out from this. Sometimes, you know, because I've been making people laugh for about 30 years now. That's a long time, you know. You know what I mean? So what, one of the things I wanted to do tonight was say, because I've been making people laugh for about 30 years. Anybody remember Mr. Fraser? Yeah. And, and when the sisters say, yeah, there's, there's a fondness. Oh, you can't love an ugly man like that. <laughs> we've, we've had children demanding that Mr. Fraser come to perform for them. And then when Fraser show up, the picture of them start crying. <laughs> they never realized. So I'm asking the question tonight, if you don't mind, if I could reason with you a little bit in between the acts. My name is Brother Leo Muhammad, and I'm gonna be your compare for the evening. And I'm gonna be bringing on a very, very superb and beautiful set of acts for you tonight. But I just want to pose a few questions to you because we're in 2018. And whether we appreciate it or not, we are doing very well as a people. Can, can I get a witness? Do, 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 do you realize how black people are, are rising and coming to the top? Make no mistake about it, man. I mean, I'm embarrassed, you know, because some people get embarrassed when you talk about black. Why, why am I for talk about black so much? He's a black man. Not enough people talk about black. And, and for those of you who say, yeah, but I'm not black, I'm African, stop it. I've been to Africa. Every African we ever meet identify himself as a black man. Even the white one, then. So, this is going to be 
really a fundraiser. You've done a fantastic job by coming out like this. And I really hope that we will keep Felix in mind as we go through this because that brother, he was magnificent, you know. Very, very special brother. And um, it was a real privilege and an honor to know him. And what hurt me the most about Felix's passing was the fact that I never knew that he was ill. If you know, he kept it a secret. And I, I'm really sending out a general warning to all of us. Those of you who are right now suffering in silence, don't do that, brothers and sisters. If you've got a problem, believe me, speak it. Somebody will hear and somebody has the solution to your problem. But if you keep it to yourself, nobody can help you. And that's what hurt me the most with Felix, that I never knew, man. Then I got a message saying that Felix was in a hospice. And when I went there, he was already on his deathbed. And that, to me, is very sad. You see the way I look? Because some of you remember me from The Real McCoy. You remember? Yeah. No, no, hold on. But, but you see the way I look? Oh, you say to you, oh, I'm not changing 20 odd years. Because we don't have to get old and decrepit, man. We really don't, but we have to take care of this, look after ourselves. And this illness and dying from cancer, you see they've got a big cancer campaign on right now. You know back in the day you never hear about black people have cancer? Never! But you know what's changed? Can anybody tell me what's changed? The food. The food. You see when we first come to this country? I came here in 1967. Long time. Some of you don't even born. Some of your parents never even think, shall we have a baby? They never even think about that yet. But when I came here, we would never go next door and get no cup of, cup of tea, cup of tea. What are you talking about? We're not, we don't want it. We're not eating no Savalai and chips, especially upon the road. In Jamaica, you couldn't walk street and eat, you know. We are talking about only dog walk and eat. But when I came here, I see this man walking along the road. He's eating out of a newspaper. Newspaper, imagine the ink. And it all changed, man. Now, black people eat anything that's going. Think about it. You see me? You can't offer me no food. Me don't want it. I eat in my yard, in my house. But this is us, we, 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 we just have what? We see somebody with some biscuit. You want a biscuit? Yeah, give me. <laughs> we don't look at the ingredients. <laughs> Monosodium glutamate. Colorings. All these E numbers that we know nothing about. This is the problem. Believe me, brothers and sisters, you can be so... How many of you drove up here tonight? Let me see a show of hands. How many of you drove up here? Lord of mercy, the wall out on our walk. <laughs> I thought black people had cars, brother. Me thinks that the wall out on our drive Tesla and all them things there. Look, man. Those of you who drove up in a petrol car, you have never, ever thought to yourself one day, you know something? I think I will just try some paraffin in the car today. <laughs> or maybe just try some water in the tank. Those of you, those of you who drove up in a diesel car, you've never thought, let me just try some other juice. Let me try some carrot juice. You wouldn't do it. You follow the manufacturer's instructions for that vehicle so that you can get the optimum use. Did you know that human beings come with an instruction manual? Yeah, man. Scripture. Do you see the old patriarchs and matriarchs from back in the day? How many of you read Bible? Three people read the Bible. Lord of mercy. What's going on? All of us grew up on Scripture, man. We gotta get back to the scripture, but not just reading it, but understanding what it means. In the scriptures, the old matriarchs and patriarchs, they lived two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Methuselah went to, I think, 950 years old. Now, when modern day people hear that, they say, just shut up, man, you idiot. <laughs> Nobody can live that long. They must have been up and twist up. I said, man, what? No, brothers and sisters, believe me. But based on how we eat now, see people now, they, live, they last for about 70 years. And we're standing around them grave. I talk about, yeah, he had him have a good run. Stop it. In the scripture, it says they will die at 100 years as babies. Did you know that it takes a man about 75 years just to know what life is about? We're dying too young. And so I'm appealing to you, brothers and sisters, tonight I want to pose some questions to you and make you think. Is that all right? Two more people agree with that. <laughs> Lord of mercy, we have a difficult time tonight. Okay, all right. Well, without further ado, I want us to put our hands together and make some noise. I just want to test. I want to test. Yeah, because I heard that they're bringing back the 291 club. And anybody here know about the 291 club? Oh my God. Some foolish person had this idea that they would do a show like Live at the Apollo at the Hackney Empire where black acts or any kind of acts would come on the stage doing comedy or singing or doing different things and then the audience would have the opportunity to boo them off or allow them to finish their set this was on a Friday evening after black people are work all week <laughs> and I get nothing but hell. And sometimes the compare would just be introducing that and please welcome, boo, wait, 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 wait hold on, give them man a chance. They never see the arc yet. That's coming back, that's coming back. So I just want to test the waters. I just want to test the waters. Imagine, I want you to imagine I'm just about to introduce the first act. I just want to see how you're going to receive them. Please give it up. <laughs> it's going to be one of them night. No, no, difficult. Okay. All right, brothers and sisters, I want you to make some noise. I want you to show him some love. And please welcome to the stage the first act of the evening. Please give it up. Show him some love for Mr. Victor Daniels. Thank you, thank you. There's some girl in here tonight. Single ladies, make some noise. 07931 325 757. Holler at me, man. I'm hungry. I just come out of prison. <laughs> it's hard out here, man. It's hard. West Indian people in the house, make some noise. Yeah, I hate West Indian people. <laughs> African people, make some noise. Yeah, we're proud now. We wasn't proud back in primary school. West Indian people made it hard for us. I used to come to school, they'd come up to me and go, Victor, if you're African, why have you got clothes on? If you're African, why is your name Boo Boo? It's ridiculous, man. I remember we was playing football, yeah? We was playing football. And the ball went into the garden where the wild dog was. And all the West Indian kids stopped and looked at me. I'm like, why are you looking at me? They're like, come on, Victor, come on, come on. We've watched Channel 4. We know you African man can speak to animals. <laughs> and I believed them. So I jumped into the garden where the wild dog was. And I remembered one thing. I'm from Hackney. <laughs> I can't even speak Nigerian. I was like this. It's wale, 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 wale. <laughs> Six weeks in hospital I spent. I remember when we played out. The West Indian kids, your mums used to call you in nice, simple names. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. <laughs> Come inside where it's warm. But the West Indian kids be like, no, wait, 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 wait. 
Victor's mum's gonna call him. <laughs> then my mum will come out, 20 stones, bare carbs. Baby strapped on the back. No Argus baby carrier. Just a piece of cloth, neck twist, can't breathe. It wasn't my brother, my mum was babysitting. Little eight-year-old white kid called Adam. I'm like, mum, let him play. Play for what? Play for what? You want me to lose child? Eat jobs. Then my mum will start calling me. First she start off with the English names. Victor, Junior, Daniels. Then the West Indian kids like, here it comes, here it comes. And all he hears, ah, hey. Ah, ah, it's full stop and hey, it's comma. She be ah, hey. A chai, babutunde, alamete, get your ass in his house now. West Indian children used to come to my house for dinner. He wasn't hungry. You just wanted to hear the funny names. Go on, Victor, ask your mum what's for dinner. You're not even hungry, Gary. Just ask her. Just ask her. I'll just start crying. I'll be like, let it be chips. Fry down your rigs. Something simple. My mum be like, ah, hey. Onto this menu, onto this menu. We have eba, grand rice, amala, fufu, a goosey stew. I tell you first to put the forks down. We use our hands. <laughs> West Indian children used to run up to my mum and go, in Nigeria, do they call fried bananas plantain or plantain? <laughs> my mum be like, ah, plantain, plantain. We call it dodo. I went on a date the other day. The girl asked for a drink. You know what she asked for? A triple brandy. A triple brandy. That cost 20 pounds. I got her a triple Coke. That shit came in a jug. I love women, I've been out with so many different races of women. Fellas, if you haven't been out with a white woman, you've got to go out with a white woman at least once. Their credit is amazing. I was in Ikea every week. White people's credit is different. I was in Carfa Warehouse, right? And Mustafa wouldn't give me a phone. So I started crying. And then my girlfriend, my Kathy, came in. I don't know what my Kathy said to Mustafa, but I left Carphone Warehouse with two iPhones for £30 a month. I love black women. Black, give a round of applause if you know a strong black woman in your life. Black women are strong. I was going out this beautiful Jamaican girl. Natural blue hair, blonde eyes. My Shiniqua, my Shiniqua. She was strong, she was strong. There was a fire and I was sleeping. My Shiniqua carried me out of the fire. Black women are strong. And you know what else? You know our skin? Black doesn't crack. When I go to work and I tell my white friends I'm 65, they don't believe me. come to London on the wind rush. It was crazy because I'm Nigerian. It was cheaper, it was cheaper. Man, I love mixed race girls. Any mixed race people in the house make some noise? Yeah, I went out of a mixed race girl once. So you know what that meant. I didn't know what was for dinner. I didn't know. It's like a game of guess who, I didn't know what was going on. She was half Jamaican, half English, so she mixed the cultures together. I'm like, babe, what's for dinner? Curry, got and chips. It sounds crazy. 
it sounds crazy, but with a bit of beans, come dine with me. You're not ready for Akia Mash. Ready for them big man meal there, big man meal. Bare protein, bare protein. You're not ready. You're not ready. You're not ready. Even her name was mixed race. Her name was Tanasha Lily. It's crazy, man. Who watched that film Get Out? Yeah, look at the black women. Yeah, that was a good film. That's black men. That shit was a horror. I shouldn't even call it Get Out. Should have called. It should have been called Don't Go. I went with my white girlfriend. Left her in the cinema. <laughs> Phil messed me up. If I was going to have a white girl, she said to me, it's time to meet the parents. I tell her straight. If they live in Kent, Surrey, Cornwall, anywhere where there's a windmill, I ain't going. You better tell her to me. Tell your parents to meet me somewhere neutral. Tell them to meet me in Peckham. Next to Morley's. I know. <laughs> film messed me up. I, I was scared of white people. I was on the train. I was waiting for the train after the film. If I saw more than six white people, I'm like, no, 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 no. No, no. 17 trains went by. I had to sit with a driver. It's mad, man. I made this stuff up. After the film, yeah, there was these six hench black dudes. Six hench black guys, right? And they said some things to each other that I've never seen black guys say before. They were looking at each other and they were saying, when you get home, yeah, text me. <laughs> Let me know you got in safely. <laughs> that film messed me up. I had to sneak back in the cinema and watch another movie. I was that scared of white people. I had to see a film that showed white people, black people, Asian people, and Chinese people getting on. Man had to watch Power Rangers. <laughs> it's crazy, man. But before I go, um, it's serious now. I, a group of us black men, and we work for a charity, and we go to the hospitals, and we read stories to deaf children. I've written a book. Is it okay if I share that book with you guys today? Yeah, do you guys, can I read it? Is that all right, Leo? Can I read it? Can I read the book? I know I'm finished. Yeah, I'll read it quick. You can buy, oh, you remember these bags from back in the day, JD's? I'm going to keep it for another 10 years. It should be a million pounds after that. The book's called uh, Peppa Pig. And you know how they like to steal things from black people? They stole this idea from me. So bad. But if you do want a copy, it's 9 dollars I just need your bank details, the long card number, <laughs> your mother's maiden name, and your favorite color. I'll be quick, here we go. Pepper and her family have just finished their wonderful family day out to HMP Belmarsh Prison, <laughs> where they were visiting their uncle, Mr. Elephant, who was doing time for killing another elephant over peanuts. <laughs> Thank you for visiting, man, still. No one from the ends ever visits me, you get me? <laughs> that man don't even send man a little change so he can buy skills. <laughs> Watch when I get out here, bear man are gonna get trampled on. <laughs> said Mr. Elephant. <laughs> but by then you would have forgotten everything, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> Forgot which part? Man is an elephant. We don't forget shit, said Mr. Elephant. <laughs> Daddy Pig is messing around throwing the keys in the air. Peppa Pig says, Dad, stop or you might lose the keys. Stop which part? Man is a grown ass pig. <laughs> About little pigney try to tell me what to do. I imagine, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> Daddy Pig accidentally drops the keys down the drain. <laughs> Dickhead, <laughs> says Peppa Pig. Time to go home, said Mummy Pig. Daddy Pig drops his tenants in fear. How are we gonna go home, fam? 
Daddy Pig has lost the keys, said Peppa Pig. So Mummy Pig phones her brethren from Brixton. Yes, fluffy chick, may I help you one time? We have all the fluffy chicks, said Rasta Mouse. But that's been my time. My name is Vivek Tanji, but a wonderful audience, please. Come on, brothers and sisters, one more time for Mr. Victor Daniels. We, we lost our sister, Aretha Franklin. Do you realize that as black people, we provide the soundtrack for the entire planet and that many people get through another day based on the music that comes from us? That's how important that beautiful sister was. Right now, we're going to move into the arena of music. All of you know this brother. He's a very beautiful brother. has a wonderful voice. Please put your hands together. Make some noise. Show some love for Mr. Wayne Daniels. May I get the first name of the first out mix up with the second one? That's why some of you did a clap like that. What, what am I talking about? Please, one more time, put your hands together for Mr. Wayne Marshall! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. All good. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? <laughs> well, you know, Felix is one of the veterans, right? So let's give a, let's give a cheer for Felix Dexter. Hip, hip! Hip, hip! Hip, hip! Yeah, man, he's looking down at us and he's just laughing. Give it a rhythm anyway. I'm going to give a song for y'all, a brand new song. You know, but you know how we do. Something to give you a little life. Come, give it a try. It's Tina, baby. I'm watching you, watching me too Fresh on the black with your heart crew Spice like pepper, tasting like food You got me on fire, but I'm trying to act cool Yeah, yeah, listen Sexy, God must have sent you here to bless me It's a sensual advance And it's happened when we dance So baby, hold my hand and take this chance Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah Listen up I'll buy the drinks And take your coat But you move In the middle of the dance floor Man going crazy When they see you why I just girl in the party, and you're mine, oh my. Oh, 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 oh. Listen, sexy, God must have sent you here to bless me. I'm gonna be a man, you don't have to chase me. It's a sensual advance, and it's happened when we dance. So baby, oh my. Take this chance Yeah Yeah Listen You're beautiful Elegant You're like the presence of the trend Yeah But your selfies Are looking kinda lonely You need a man like me On your Instagram I hope you're single girl You're single Sexy, I did the barbecue and girl. You are sexy. Listen, girl, I'm watching you, watching me too. Looking fresh with your heart cool. Spice like pepper, taste 
tasting like food Got me on fire, baby But I'm trying to be so cool Baby, you can you Listen Kindness of sent you will embrace me I'm gonna be a man, no need to trust me No, it's a sensual advance And it happened when we dance So baby, oh my hand and take this chance Pull it up, 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 pull it up Pull it up Pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up We're going with that, we're going with that, we're going with that Well, you know Brand new, brand new. This song, I'm gonna, guess, I'm gonna do a little song. I've done a few last year, and I'm gonna do a few tonight. And you know, in light of all what's happening on the streets, we know guys are killing each other, etc., etc. So I'm gonna give you like an old school song. You like old school? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I don't wanna give you old school and say, boy, our old business is that, you know. All right, I'm gonna give you something old. But I've, you know, retweet the lyrics a little bit. You, you know, you might have heard the song before. Hopefully, you'll like it too. Get it with him. Uh uh. Is that the wrong one? That's the wrong one, right? Okay. I think you pulled the wrong one. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. I'm gonna give you an acapella anyway because, like, uh, that's the wrong song, but it's not a problem. I was born by the river Like the same cook song And like the river Blood keeps running In my hometown It's been a long Long time coming, but I know change gonna come. Oh, yeah. It's been too hard living, but I'm on a natural even though the crack smoke out there is stenching out the sky. It's been a long time, a long time coming, but I know I took my girl to the movies. Down the road from my crib We get abuse from the postcode king Who wants to murder me from where I live It's been a long, long, long time coming But I know See, then I go to my brother, my, 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 my brother, and I say, and I say, brother, help me please. And then he winds up, knocking me. Now I'm back down on my knees. I couldn't last for long, but, but now, 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 now I'm able to carry on. Said it's been a long time, a long time coming, but I know a change gonna come. See, then I go to my brother. And I say, brother, brother, help me, please. But then 
he winds up, yes he winds up, knocking me, knocking me, knocking me, oh yeah. Now I'm back down on, 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 on my knees. There were times that I thought I couldn't, no, I couldn't last for long. But now I, 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 I'm able to carry on. Said it's been a long time. A long time, a long, a long, a long time coming, but I know a change is gonna come. If you believe it, let me hear you say yeah. yeah. If you believe it, let me hear you say yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you? My name's Wayne Marshall. Love and spell. Come on, brothers and sisters, one more time for Mr. Wayne Marshall. You know, it's you know, it's he had to say his name at the end. Still vex. I'm still vex. It was the man before him. I have him near him come in mind. Come here, all a grudge, you know. You know where black people hold grudge? When did that thing up? About 27 years ago. <laughs> In Jamaica, yeah, we, we, we got a name for everything. There was this man who lived in the area where, where I grew up in Jamaica and he had some kind of disease on his face and he literally, part of his nose got eaten away but he could carve wood and he carved a little wooden piece and him fitted upon it. Me not look, me not lie. It's true. In the, in the community, where did them call the man? Board nose. In, Jama in Jamaica, if you're Chinese, he's a blackhead Chinese man. If you're an Indian, he's a coolie man. And right now, we have live on stage. Please give it up for the one and only, Mr. White Yardy! Good night, good night, good night. Good night, people. Good night. Hello. <laughs> Jamaicans make some nice. That's nice, that's nice. You know when me always do that, the rest of the Caribbean feel left out. It's all right, me big and up though. Small island make nice. Show me a trouble, you know, man. Don't go on, sir. We're Grenada, there. The whole country in here. If anybody needs to be a cake, just go to them. They have nothing like right now in them bag. Trinidad, you are going. One, two. Oh. They only come out when I carnival time. <laughs> I'm from Jamaica, that's where I'm from, man. That's where I'm from, Jamaica. I'm big up the Jamaican parents them as well, yeah, man. Especially Jamaican mothers. You see, Jamaican mothers, they are the most sarcastic mothers in the world. No, they say things to you and you have to question yourself. Like, you have to really wonder, is she being for real or not? Like, I tell you once, my mother, right? I was in the house and I said to my mother, Mommy, can I go outside and play? So yeah, she said, yes but don't leave the house. <laughs> Someone said, Mommy, what do you mean? She said, you yeah, idiot. You can go outside and play, but just make sure you stay around the house. OK, cool, say that then, innit? Go outside, now when I play, one of my friends come check me. We start walk down the road, maybe like a mile. I wasn't measuring it, could be further. Obviously, my mother come out now. Didn't see me around the house. Jumping at the car. Drive down the road, come look for me. 
when she find me, she look at me and say, Hey, big head boy! I never tell you, don't leave the house. Me like an idiot, I look for the house. I wear the house then. I swear, I left it around here somewhere. Mommy, you know, say hurricane just passed a while ago, maybe he'd pick it up. He or she sarcastic. My mother looked for me in her car. Okay, he's a funny man. He's gonna be a comedian. If only she did know, eh? She now can't look for me and say, all right. Let me reach home before you. <laughs> it's not fear. I remember the next time I was at home. I was at home and my mother come, come to me and said, Harry, tidy up the house. I soon come back. I said, Mommy, where you go? She said, I go mark it. I said, okay, cool. That means that I will take you three hours. I can do what I want to do and tidy up the house. Right? But being a child, I did what I wanted to do first. Which is playing, ramping, going to the front room, go lay down on the sofa where them tell we say we not figure up on. You know the one where them wrap in a plastic? That I never understand. They buy a sofa, they buy furniture out of a store, wrap it to keep it fresh and new. But you cannot sit on it, leave it in the store and keep your money. That is one of the most uncomfortable things to sit on as well. Like especially in Jamaica where it's hot. Me like an idiot would go out there, no shirt on, just lay out my beer skin and stuck to it. <laughs> <laughs> Three hours pass, me hear the car pull up, vroom, me run, grab the map. Start mopping because in my head now, if my mother walk in and see me tidying up, I can say, Mommy, the reason why the house is not finished, I was taking my time so I can do it to your standards. <laughs> that, that, that's what in my head was, you know, that's what I was thinking, but never work out like that. So my dad with the mop, my mother walk straight in, drop the back them, and say, Wait, is that idiot me half your son? I said, why you say that, mommy? No, see me a map. Where you a map me keep it for? <laughs> she used the map and beat me. The map then break. She then blame me for break the map. <laughs> Terrible man. I remember next time, in my bedroom this time. In my bedroom, my mother kick off my door. <laughs> where you in here, though? Like, me never understand that. Like, parents, like, we could never see our parents do a lock. Never see it lock. And go up to it and be like, Mommy, where you and daddy in here, do? <laughs> me and some nice a while ago, walk one. <laughs> no, my mother kick off my door. <laughs> where you in here, do? Me say nothing. Tidy up in here, man, and open up the window, and you froze and stink. <laughs> me say, Mommy, you cannot knock my door. She said, you have door in my house. I said, but this is my room. You pay a rent in my house. I said, all right, mommy, sorry about it, but maybe I ask you something. She said, what is it? You see when the door did close? Yes. Could you see our smell in my room? What kind of idiot question you ask my boy? Of course, I cannot see through the door. I said to my mother, so just go back out and close the door. You don't have to see in yourself. I know, some are not confused. Someone are looking like, and you're still alive. Someone are looking for me like, which part pan him broke? What my mother did next was this. My mother run out of the house. Fast. The only time people run like that out of them house is if there's a thief, a dog, or a duppy. For those who don't know what a duppy is, ghost. I looked around, I didn't see the thief. I looked around, I didn't see no dog. So it must be a doppy. We run out too. <laughs> now when we run out, I see my mother run go down the lane. Tear, shh. I run, catch up to my mother. I say, mommy, mommy, where you run I go? She said, I go look for the person who you are talking to because I can't me. Three hour man show there, I look for somebody. I have to find somebody. I have to find somebody. <laughs> I 
I say when I talk to you about when I went to school, I went to school in Jamaica. I didn't go to school in England, I went to school in Jamaica. From Lico all the way up to high school, I'm a drop out of school. I swear it got life, you know. But when I was going to school in Jamaica, these are things that people don't understand. And for those who don't grow up in Jamaica, who grew up in Jamaica, make some noise. Who went to school in Jamaica, make some noise. You remember when you used to get beaten in a school? Who get beaten in a school, make noise. Eh, uh, me used to get whole leap. Enough. Sometimes I wonder if I just got to school for beating. <laughs> I swear. Like in schools in Jamaica, they don't teach you to they don't teach you to learn and they beat you to learn. I'm mean, gonna tell you about this situation that happened one time when I got beaten. And um, the reason I'm gonna tell you about it is because my, my, my counselor says it's good to talk to people about it. It helps with the recovery. So the teacher walked into class. Good morning, class. Please stand spelling test. Now there's two ways they do spelling tests in my school. They give you one way is they tell you clear your desk, only take out a blank piece of paper and a pen. Nothing else should be on your table. They give you 20 words to spell, and you only need to get one right to avoid beating. I like that one because I know there's a one in 20 chance I could cheat and get one of the answer them. No, seriously. The next way is they tell you to stand up, then give everybody one word to spell. You have to get it right. You get it wrong, you get beaten, sit down, you move on. So she started at the front of the class. You spell bat, B A T. Good girl, sit down. You spell cat, C A T. Good girl, sit down. You spell hat. We said, wait, there's a pattern. If I work out this pattern, I know my word. So I'm going to start counting the students, count how much word gone already. I'm going to work, I'm going to say, but get hot, fat, man. Rat! My word is going to be rat! Reach to me now. The teacher say, you spell lamb. I say, R-A, hold on. I say, hold on. Warm to the rat. <laughs> she said, I didn't say a rat. I said, I know. That's why I asked you. What happened to it? You had a pattern. I was working with the pattern. <laughs> she grabbed the bell. I said, Miss, okay, I will spell lamb. So I'm get ready. <clears throat> lamb. L A M, lamb. <laughs> Miss, good boy, sit down. What are going? She grabbed the belt and start walk towards me. I turned around to my friend and said, Una did that talk, Una get beaten. <clears throat> the teacher come right up to my face. Spell it one more time. I said, okay, maybe you never hear me before. I will do it again. Lamb. L-A-M. Lamb. People, you see when the belt touch my back? You ever been in the shower and the temperature just changed? Like winter time, you're having a cool, warm, hot shower and then the gas just go off and you get cool. And you whoa! The pain, the cry, oh God, Jesus Christ, how wickedness this. She said, spell it again, Mr. L-A-M. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Mr. No, Jesus Christ, take me now, Lord, take me now. She looked at me and said, don't stupid big head boy it is l-a-m-b the b is silent mr miss that's why i never say it people my name's why yadi thank you come on brothers and sisters one more time for why yadi The scripture says in the beginning was the word. Brothers and sisters, we've got to study the word, man. Words are powerful. You know what a word can do? You know when you come home and your, your, your girlfriend or your wife said to you, baby, I, 
You're special, you know, I just love you, you know. And you just feel yourself just rise up onto the ceiling. You just, that's just a word. Maybe another day you come home and she said, you can't stand the way. You just crash to the words, man. Words are powerful. And so right now, brothers and sisters, I want you to put your hands together and show some love for the next act on the stage. She goes by the name of Sheba Monserrat. She is a stand-up poet. Please make some noise. Show us some love for Sheba Monserrat. So by way of introduction, I shall just share this short piece with you and then we'll go on. This poem is called Men. <laughs> hold on, hold on. It's only short, I haven't got much time. Most men are full of shit. Thank you very much. Notice I said most, not all, but the most that are full of shit are booing. Okay, so now I'm from, as I said, I'm from Hackney, and there are two types of Hackneys these days. There's New Hackney and there's Old Hackney. New Hackney is rich white people who came into the area to break up the party that black people and working class white people were having. Old Hackney still exists, but Old Hackney is evidence in bookie shops. In bookie shops you have a type of man I call bookie monsters. <laughs> bookie monsters are easily recognisable. They often have long locks. These locks suffer from failure to thrive. Long locks and the hairline starts about here. Of time they smoke in a spliff, but it's a little one skin spliff because they have a habit they can't afford. You see them pulling on a little one skin spliff like it's something big and pounding their chest. When a bookie monster smiles, you immediately realize that the tooth fairy still visits. They have the damn cheek when they see good woman to say things like, come here. <laughs> when you was young and stupid, a man couldn't tell you, come here. So when you look on them and you cut your eye, they say to their half-dead friend on the left, that's why we don't like talk to women with job. They think they're too nice. A little poem for the bookie monsters. Bookie monster, bookie monster. Please understand that fresh women have no use for old Brock Stairman. beautiful brown faces, some white faces too. And I guess in some corners they will call this an urban audience. Now I've been for years, I've been trying to work out what the hell is urban? And then I finally got it. Urban means how well can you pretend you're black? <laughs> so I'm gonna open an urban school. I'm gonna teach people how to behave stereotypically black like they want to. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the walk. I'm gonna teach people how to do a little urban walk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Walking forwards, backwards. 
even to the side. And you have to know how to leave a room. Now you see the trick, the, 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 the technique of the urban walk is to know exactly when to recover from and give in to gravity. It's all about gravity. If you give in to gravity too much, you're gonna look like you took your medication with alcohol. If you don't give in to gravity enough, you're gonna look like you got something up your ass that shouldn't be there. Okay, so that's the walk. Then we're gonna do gesture. Because, you know, black people love to gesture big. Yes, look, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear, look me here. And that's just walking into the kitchen. <laughs> might, be, might be Caribbean people do this because of our slave experience. We didn't own anything, so we own the very space that we stand in. Yes, 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 yes. So we're gonna teach them how to gesture big. Yes, then, 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 the nod. Because black people love nod to our music. And I'm going to teach them the yes and no nod. The yes and no nod is from when the bass hit that place. Yes. <laughs> yes and no, one time. Specialism. Then after they've learned the walk, the gesture, the nod, they're gonna have the master class where they have to put all of them together. And you got to put all of them together and enter a room showing that you come in peace. <laughs> you, 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 even give yourself a pat down. One more time for Sheba Montserrat. <laughs> you gotta come in touchy at the beginning. She touched some nerves. Some black man getting fixed. <laughs> yeah, brothers, we do need to get shook up, man. We do need to get shook up, shook up. Okay, we got a young man waiting at the back of the stage, ready to come out here and kill black people. That's how you describe it. <laughs> so, some of us are serious, you know. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. It's wonderful. It's a, you look absolutely beautiful. By the way, when you get home, 
those of you who, you know, coming from your black family, get all of your family members to put their hands together on the table and have a close look and you will recognize that not one of you in the house has the exact same color. Isn't that amazing? There is no two of us with the exact same color, even within the family. Check it out when you get home. It's a beautiful thing because we are, all of us in the room, unique. And that uniqueness means that you can accomplish anything that you can envisage here, you can bring it into reality. And if we as black people just recognize how special we are, this 21st century belongs to us. Please, make some noise, show some love, give it up for the next act, Special P! The 
And if you don't cut shit right there, right now, you see if they cut shit in the white people house, that's right there. Put your loving arms, loving arms around me, girl, around me, girl. 
stay, stay A little wild
We're still partying. They got the lights on. That's, that's incredible. Never seen that before. Anyway, <laughs> we uh, we're all gathered here to uh, celebrate the life of a, a great comedian, and uh, hopefully. We'll have more coming in the future from the children coming up, but I can see all you guys here. Who's got kids here? Anyone got kids? Any, there ain't no comedians, young, funny comedians coming up though. Have you noticed that? Yeah, it's a shame. But uh, hopefully we will have some. Um, can we go to the next? Like that. Sisters, one more time. Give it up for loose ends. Wow. I see a lot of, a lot of people got excited when the lights go up, boy. 
Black people love the dark. Yeah, man, I know what kind of people you are, you know? I mean, we, we would have a simple birthday party, you know, like a house party. But there was always one room, completely dark. Black hearts. Because that's where people are going to do their nastiness. <laughs> Rub off the people while they are Yeah, man, I know we used to go on in them rooms. And the thing is, you, you, you get these guys in the room, and accidentally, accidentally, one of them might just lean on the light switch and the light come on. <laughs> you see black man leap across the room like something out of the Matrix. Leap! Box out the light bulb! Keep it dark, my friend. I don't want nobody to see me at Because, you know, remember the dance? In the dance, we would be like a certain kind of man. I, when I used to go, I, I used to be, we used to be bad, you know? We used to be one of them bad boys. Yeah, man, me and my friend them. And, and we would arrive at the dance at 2 o'clock in the morning. When everybody mash up, we are coming fresh. And in those days, we used to wear Crocs. We have crocodile skin shoes. No money, but we have Crocs. And we used to press the, the choses and everything sharp, line everything sharp and pretty. And then you get to the dance, pitch darkness. Nobody can see the choses, nobody can see the Crocs. And when you walk into those dances, sometimes the, the DJ would be talking pure rubbish. Pure rubbish, the man. When you come a special request and a popular like man who's got someone who's trying to make you rock the movies, I would make a baby girl kind of come and go, I would say, Chiku. Right now, I'm gonna run out the lyrics as I would really make you, so I'm gonna just make it up as I go along. Black people, see black people are dance. Go on, man, but there we do. Go on, see me. Go on, go on. Rubbish. Couldn't understand a word with the man I said. <laughs> and me and my friends, we, 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 we would be in the dance, we'd find a little dark corner, start build up a spliff, you know? That's how we do it. And then. When you're bad, because we were bad, I always a look trouble, I always a look for a fight. One day we was walking along the road and we see a policeman, and he might walk by himself. Big mistake. <laughs> Me and four of my friend. Man, they're by himself, full uniform. And there was like corrugated iron, you know, like a building site, and he might walk next to that. We just squeeze him up. That's what we got past him. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Yeah, trouble, pure trouble we have And in the dance, we stand up in the corner and put out our foot like that. Pure darkness, you know. And some poor, unsuspecting fool would come along and accidentally mash the crocs. <laughs> now, look, look, look. You, you, know, you know when you meet someone and them go like them bad, you know, bad man, them. You know, you, you meet some guy and say, hey, you see me, hey, you see me, me's a bad man. That's not a bad man, that's an idiot. <laughs> no bad man tell anybody to them bad. You understand? Tony Blair was a bad man. Him going nice and gonna kill a whole heap of people. And then the next thing, we we'll go vote for him again. You see, that's a bad man. But, bad man in the black community, when we're really bad, we don't make a lot of noise, we're quiet. And as the man mashed the cracks, man just, Hi. <laughs> and, and grab the man, you know, in the darkness. And don't grab him with a full hand, just the thumb and forefinger by his elbow. Hold him. Hi. <laughs> and the voice changed, it get quiet. Brethren. <laughs> you realize I'm a crack, you know, man. I beg you just ease up. You have any money? Because a Roman black man drink all night. Pure trouble, pure trouble. I don't know, man, I don't know. Question, question. This is one of the questions I wanted to ask you. 
I want you to contemplate something. I want you to think about something. I want you just for a minute to imagine that that scripture in the Bible where Abraham is told by God, Abraham, know for a surety. It is like a black man. God was a, like a Jamaica. Remember the translator must say, Abraham, make no mistake when I'm going to tell you no. Know for a surety that your seed shall be a stranger in a strange land for four years. Hundred years, God talking. At the end of that time, Abraham, I will come and I will judge that nation which they shall serve, and they shall come out having great substance. Question I want you to go all over this planet. The planet in its circumference is 24,896 miles. The diameter of the earth is 7,926 miles. The total area of land and water is 196,940,000 square miles. And I want you to go and search among all the people on the planet and go into all of their histories and you will find no people on this planet, past, present or coming in the future who have been in bondage for 400 years except for one set of people. Now, three people applaud. Everybody else vex. We, we, we are trying to say, we are trying to say. Question What if, I'm just asking you to think about this, what if we are in fact those people? What if the scripture is not talking about some ancient time back then, but it's talking about right now, today? What if, just ifs, I want you to think. What if we are the real children of Israel? Scattered to the four corners of the earth. Lost our name, our language, our culture, our God. Like nomadic people don't know who we are. What if these young boys shooting and stabbing and killing one another. Did you hear about my nephew? Somebody came up behind him and put a shotgun to the back of his head. 14 years old. He's gone now. This is the reality that's going on on these streets. And I'm saying, brothers and sisters, this Red Sea that the children of Israel had to go through, I ain't talking about, see, all the watch, Charlton has done too much. <laughs> Moses, and a sea of blood. Well, I ain't talking about no sea, but it's a sea of blood. Among a sea of people, I want you to think, because this 21st century, brothers and sisters, belongs to you. It belongs to us. The scripture says, as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the ending. Did you know that once upon a time, you and I walked with God? In, in fact, hola, hola. Do, do you know that you are all God's children of the most Hi, God. And I know what some of you are saying. I know what some of you are saying. Some of you are vexed. They don't believe in I know God. You got black people nowadays, so they, so they call themselves atheists. Black people say they don't believe in I know God. Have dog in the house. <laughs> dog! I made a dog kiss them fierce. Lick them fierce. Well, dog is best friend. What are you talking about? But let, me, let me prove to you how I know that when you say you're an atheist, you have to tell pure lie. Pure lie. Have you, have, you, have you ever been on the airplane? You, you, you know when the airplane lick a little turbulence? Watch black people, watch black people. Hey <laughs> God, you know, call for the pilot. You start to talk about, oh God. It's in your nature, it's in your very DNA. 
And brothers and sisters, if we remain in denial of that fundamental part of ourselves, we ain't talking about no external religion being imposed on nobody. We're talking about the very nature of us as a people. Did you know that? Thank you. Four people up love. Thank you very much. Did you know, brothers and sisters, that we have a very, very highly developed conscience? Did you know that? Let me, let, me, uh, let me ask you to go back a little bit. I want you to go back to when you were a little boy or you were a little girl. And I want you to think about that time when you were a little boy or you were a little girl and you went into your mum's purse and you took 10p. <laughs> I want you to think back. You, you, you will know the thing that you didn't do. Or you, you took that biscuit that mommy said, don't touch the biscuit. And you put the, thelof, the cellophane back, careful, and she never noticed. I want you to just think back to the little thing that you did. But did you notice how even though it was such a small thing, you see the way it came straight back? Total recall? It never goes. Did you know that the book that will be opened on the day of judgment yes. is written within you? Did you know that every single thing that you've ever done in your life is recorded right here? This is the reality, brothers and sisters. And we can't get away from this. And I'm saying, I want us to think tonight. Because Felix Dexter's legacy is more than just comedy. And those who have passed, all of our great ancestors who went before us, the great Marcus Messiah Garvey, the great Patrice Lumumba, the greats among us, the uh, Martin Luther Kings, the Malcolm X, all of them sacrificed tremendously that you and I could be here today. Do you realize that we're here today because some people died? Come on, man, I just want you to think with me. Just think. We do our ancestors a tremendous disservice if we think that because we've got a flat or a house or a flat screen TV or a BMW or a Mercedes Benz and a few pounds in the bank, some of us think that because of these things we have arrived. But we're living in an era where whole empires are coming down. The former Soviet Union, nobody saw it coming. Saddam Hussein didn't see it coming. Assad didn't see it coming. Muammar Gaddafi didn't see it coming. This is how precarious the world is that we live in. And you and I, we are the only people on the planet. Listen to what we refuse to do. We refuse to do what other people take for granted. We refuse to come together and do for ourselves like Chinese people do, like Asian people do, like white people do. Hear me, hear me. You angry? Are you angry with me? By the way, this is why you don't see Leo Muhammad on television. Because, you know, this is serious business, but listen, I'm going to say something really serious now, more serious than anything I just said. We're going to have a 30 minute break. <laughs> no, you, you, you got to say that, so when you talk to black people, you have to emphasize the 30. I warn you, try not to eat too much. I think they're doing some beautiful, there was food and everything outside. It's inside now? Wonderful. So don't eat too much so you start falling asleep in the second half. The second half is going to be action packed. All right? And so brothers and sisters, please take a 30 minute break. Uh, get to know some stranger that you've never met before. Have something to eat. Have something to drink. Visit the bathroom and we will see you after the break. Thank you very much. I'm not